Hello guys, welcome back to more Dying Light 2. On the last one, my friend, my new friend, Hakan, led me over here to his buddy named Killian. And he has given me shelter for the night, so I'm very, very glad that he has done that. Because everyone else here seems to want to kill me just because I don't have the the wrist thingy. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a monitor that shows how long left until your infection basically um, is 100%. You wanted something else. Higher fucking clauses. And you could just cook. Oh, the biomarkers. That's what they're called. Ask about a biomarker. I mean, Hakan already told me what those are for, but I guess he can give me more info? Biomarkers. Why are they so hard to get? Because they're complicated devices. Hell, the factories that made them have been out of commission for years. Biomarkers are keyed to blood. They can't be reused after someone sinks with it. Without them, the infection runs unchecked. Like what's happened to you. That's why people pay a fortune to get a new one. All the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. Really? You and Hakon known each other long? Ask about inhibitors. Inhibitors. How long have we known Hakon? You and Hakon, you known each other long? Too long. What did he mean when he said that you used to help people? We served together in a special. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Ancient history. Ask about inhibitors. Now what's wrong with Hakon giving me inhibitors? Kills most people in seconds. It's a powerful drug. Most can't handle it. But I survived. I said most. So don't get excited. Just be careful with them. Where can I rest? Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I need to get to the fisheye. And Hakon's helping you get there? You seem like a good kid, but take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway. I know trust is a very... It's a, it's not easy to do, especially in a place like this where everybody wants to kill me. But I trust Hakan because he saved my life. I, I'm guessing for a reason he must know me or think he knows me for some reason. And I trust you, Killian, because he could have left me out to die. But no. Nope. Anticipate visitors, and I got a big appetite, so don't count on dinner. He gave me shelter, so that's why I trust Killian. Funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. New story quest, Markers of Plague. Night exploration. At night, the city streets are teeming. Teeming? Teaming with affected. To stay safe, use the rooftops to travel. When on the street level, avoid howlers at all costs. If they see you, they will alert other infected and start a chase. During the chase, be on the lookout for hiding spots on the rooftops or hide within beams of UV lights. So I see in this game, they made it a bit more difficult to be out at night. In the first game, at first, it was kind of hard to be out at night because, you know, it freaks some people out. But when you get the hang of it, it's gets really easy later on but in this game 
They just want to make it difficult the whole way through. You're leaving the mission area. Where's the mission area? Did I just die? Did I die for being too far away from the mission? Okay, we'll see. I don't know if that makes sense. I would have... I, it'd, be, it'd make more sense if it just says, oh, you failed, not you died. Well, there's my first death already. I didn't know that would kill me. If the spot you. Yeah, I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Sorry, I'm just stuck on the idea that I died for being outside of the mission area. It wasn't even like that in the original game. You can just go wherever you want. <laughs> Safe landing. The lock is broken. Of course. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. A bus. It broke through the wall. Okay, I see no howler, so it's safe to go around here. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Goddamn jump scare. This has to be scripted. There's no way that just came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Okay, it probably did. That literally seems scripted, does it not? They grabbed research volunteers. They paid them lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Right. Uh, let's climb up there. All this stuff around here reminds me of the. It reminds me of the 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 what are they, the clickers in The Last of Us? Because you know they're like from fungi and it looks similar, but it doesn't glow in The Last of Us. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. I like how you can just do like tiny hops when you tap the button. Where'd you go? I already lost you. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. Craft lockpicks. I love lockpicks. You can get some pretty useful stuff out of them. Ah, good work. Okay, it's an easy lockpick. Use lockpicks to open locked doors and containers. Lockpicks can be easily crafted from scrap, so make sure you craft them frequently. To pick a lock, you need to find a correct position for your upper pick. Move the upper pick with the left stick. To test the upper pick's position, move the lower pick with the right stick. 
The further you are from the correct spot, the more resistance you'll feel. I remember this exactly from the first game. So it shouldn't be that difficult, especially since it's easy. It's easy on console because you can feel the vibration even before the resistance. But on PC, when I tried it out, there's no vibration. You're you're just screwed. You're just gonna have to basically guess. Okay. Nope. A little bit that way. Nope. A little bit more. Got it. Huh? You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. I did it to survive, Hakon. It wasn't for fun. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Got some rags and resin. Yeah, so I feel kind of dumb in the first video when I said resin was poison. It could be poisonous, but it's not exactly poison. I was thinking about ricin, I think it was. It started with the R. That's why I got confused. What is this? Is that a slide or is that a trash chute? Am I going to die when I leave the mission area this way? Just do a little bit of exploring. Don't crucify me, game. Maybe only in certain missions it wants you to stay within an area. Not all of them. Locked from the inside. What was that? Something just hurt me. Oh, what was that thing? The barbed wire. There is some infected down there. Need help? Oh, some help. There you go. That won't work. Shh, let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Go deeper into the hospital. Aiden. Everything okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. Uh, my head's spinning. This hospital, I've been somewhere like this. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone's been to some sort of hospital once in their life. before a GRE facility where well, there are a few of them around the city I'm having these these memories the person I'm looking for is Mia she's my sister I told you about Waltz before 
mention something? Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Is there anything I can search for? Oh, what's this? Got some rags. As porphin? It's medication, but I've never heard of that before. Cause see, a lot of stuff in this game could be made up or could be real life. I mean, I could never know. Soap, I know that's real. I think I've used that one time before. Sleeping beauties. Yeah, we have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. Get too close and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do. Sense of sleeping biters are limited, pass around them, and keep your distance. Okay, they're right there. Okay, I got a little too close there. I think as long as I'm crouching, I can do a little bit of speed walking around them. Because I don't want to stick around for too long. GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, I can search those. What is that? Pigments. Pigments. So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. He wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But. Well, the world is full of shitheads. Come on. <sighs> 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 
Just jump, just jump, just jump. Give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. Yeah, I understand that. I don't know why Aiden just didn't jump. He was really close. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Neighbors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white and green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength. GRE access key. Your GRE access key is a highly sophisticated encryption tool that unlocks special doors and chests marked with the GRE logo. Additionally, it can also be used to discover hidden inhibitor containers. The GRE key activates automatically when you're close to an inhibitor container. Revealing the distance to its location. When close to a hidden inhibitor container, hold the right stick to use your survivor sense and highlight its location. There's no way they think they didn't see me, or at least sense me. Lock from the inside, of course. Okay, so as long as the other zombies aren't disturbed, then the volatile is not going to come back. Man, this is like the first time I like feel true stealth mode in Dying Light. I'm assuming it's gonna just walk in circles. Yeah. In interval circles. So it's gonna stop and then continue, stop, continue until it walks in a complete circle. going as fast as I possibly can without getting caught. Ice cream they hid from us. I'm 
scared me of. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Edie. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. Don't be a chicken, Edie. I was thinking, can't Aiden just lockpick? How is that door any different? all this stuff camo breeches soap asporfin resin inhibitor inhibitors are the only way to increase your maximum stamina and health increasing those attributes is important as it unlocks access to some of your skills yeah i noticed that each upgrade requires three inhibitors if you find them go to the skills menu to level up your stats Inhibitors can be found in the GRE crates hidden inside GRE quarantines and GRE anomaly locations. Additionally, crates can also be discovered while exploring off the beaten path. Whoa. You need three inhibitors to upgrade stamina or health. Now choose stamina to be able to climb higher. That is very different from... What is that? Immunity. Five minutes? I'm immune for five minutes? Very different from the first game. What's up? I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. Return to the elevator shaft. Shaft. Should be a shortcut here, right? And idiots. I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Run. God, Jesus. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. me pilgrim huh? I never wanted to become a pilgrim I just sort of fell into it I roamed the country for another reason entirely I'm looking for my sister and then what and then what will you do once you find your sister I don't know yet we'll settle down somewhere well I'm hoping they'll just settle down and chill 
I'll find some place for us to live. You know, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. Ha, <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? I mean, man, that's a lot to ask for, but, um... I don't want to make it certain, because, you know, anything can happen in this kind of game. So, we'll see. And we'll see. For now, I'm a long way from my goal. Until that changes, I can't help you. I understand. Fine. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. We're gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. Okay, so just now when I had to run out to the sun, it works a little bit differently because I guess in the first game you had Antizen, so you didn't really have to worry that much about the infection. But in this game, since that doesn't really exist, like nothing like that as far as I know, um, it seems like the only way to subside the infection is to just go out to the sun, which is an interesting concept. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. New night running tool. Binoculars. Use the binoculars to mark a windmill. Binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. Hold the right D-pad and press R to use them. Watch the reticle in the center of the screen closely. It gets smaller the closer it is to its location and can be discovered. Locations discovered by binoculars are automatically added to your map. How big is the map? This is a pretty decent sized map. Developers said that um, apparently this map is supposed to be like two times bigger than all the maps combined in Dying Light 1. And uh, I mean, I sort of believe it this looks like a really big place like the thing is with me like in an open world game i don't need a really huge map i just need a decent sized map that's very populated you know like there's stuff to do all the time and it's not just like an empty city or empty desert or forest or whatever you know let's see hold and press r to use binoculars see the church that's where the howlers were after us it's the center of the district uh -huh. you can find notice boards with missing people around the city one of them is near the church 
Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. You've unlocked the open world zoom level. Press to enter the map. All open world activities you discover using the binoculars or during exploration will be visible here. Okay, what can I do? Survivor territory. Okay, so it's like a base. Um, what's this? These are the safe houses. And the windmill is a is a place I can go to unlock faction structures and activate a safe zone. Oh, it's a it's a safe zone location that I can unlock. What's over here? Visit this location to discover what it contains. Okay, this whole section of the map is blue. So is that where all the peacekeepers are held up? That's what I'm thinking. Because it's a whole blue section and they're dressed up in blue. And I'm assuming that this whole yellow part is the bizarre people. Okay. Uh, welcome to Villador. You have now unlocked the open world of Villador. Your first goal is to visit the survivor's hub, the bazaar. You'll find a merchant, a resting place, and your stash there. Use your binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map like windmills, which activate new safe zones. There are plenty of places like these in a city waiting for you to discover them. As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. They offer you a chance to help some Villador citizens in exchange for XP and various rewards. That is pretty neat. Combat, parkour, bill hook, throwing knife. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. And I got a bunch of stuff too. Okay, this looks like a good place to end it there. Oh, shoot. I almost fell off. Jump up. No, I'm fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna end right here. I hope you enjoy watching, and I'll continue the next one. See you then. Bye.